Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka Awotero, and I'm here to give you your daily message for the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you guys. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. All right, Taurus, as you all know, these readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you're meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Please reverse the world as need be. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. So let's get started. Let's see what is coming towards Taurus Universe. I've just seen the Six of Swords, the Devil in the Reverse. What else? Seen them? And the Seven of Cups. Okay. So somebody's wanting to come towards you. Um, they want they want to have peace with you, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Somebody wants to be able to have some type of peace with you because in the past. This relationship could have been very, very toxic, okay? But somebody is leaving the toxicity behind. This could be you or this could be your person. And somebody definitely wants to recover the connection here. The other person is still confused because they're not sure if they can believe this person just yet, okay? They're not sure if this person is speaking the truth. Because in the past, things were so toxic that it's kind of hard to believe that, oh, now you want to go into calmer waters with me? Why? Why Why is it that you want to be okay with me now? <coughs> so somebody is still kind of questioning this, okay? Excuse me. What else, universe? Yep, in the past, there was a lot of bickering. There was things that should have never been said between you and this person, okay? There was, um, how can I put it? Like, you never expected this person to tell you certain things or they never expected to hear certain things from your mouth. There was just a lot of toxicity in the past. A lot of confusion, a lot of mind games. This is why the other person is confused and they're not sure if you mean business with the Empress in the reverse, if you're really wanting to have a higher level commitment with them or not, okay? Somebody is still not sure if this is true. What else, universe? The connection is definitely out in the cold. I feel that slowly but surely you're trying to work something out with a person, but somebody is still defensive about it, okay? Somebody is still kind of on the defense. They're not sure if healing is the truth that you want, if healing is what you really want. Ten of Cups here. Somebody wants to have contentment. They want joy. They want peace in this connection. Honestly, I feel that, Taurus, you may be moving towards somebody from the past that things just went left on you guys, or this can be your person to you. And they're kind of confused, not sure if they can trust the fact of a reconciliation, if there is peace that can be had in the connection, okay? Because somebody was very in and out in the past with that King of Wands. Somebody was very non-committal here. But there is some communication here with the Page of Wands. There's some enlightenment. There's an, some excitement in regards to this connection. I feel that you and this person will eventually sit down, communicate, have this conversation and obtain some clarity. There's going to be a lot of apologies had from both sides. I feel um, there is love in this connection. I feel that you care very deeply for this person and they care for you as well. But there's still confusion and it could be from both ends because there was a lot of things that happened in the past that you're kind of afraid will those things come back around if we give this connection another chance. But there is clarity. Somebody has made a decision here, okay? Someone's made a final decision and they want to move forward in this connection. They want to clear the air with you and they want to be able to work on a stable, more calmer connection here. Look, if somebody does not want to miss an opportunity with you, you don't want to miss an opportunity with somebody. With the, with the death here, see? Somebody doesn't believe the other person that there is transformation. Someone just doesn't believe the fact that something has changed here. I feel that this conversation definitely needs to be had so things can be put on the table. Look at King of Cups. Didn't I say there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here between you and this person? There is a lot of love here. You may be dealing with the water sign. Look at with the Ace of Wands, there is communication coming through. Okay, you guys are going to start communicating slowly but surely in regards to this connection. It may not all happen at once. It's just like opening the door, but somebody is definitely manifesting the return of this connection. Somebody is manifesting a reconciliation in this connection. With the King of Pentacles, somebody may not be financially stable at the moment to move forward in a connection. That's your energy right there, Taurus, or this can be your person. But I think that once you and this person sit down and talk, things can call, things can be stable. Someone, look it, 
King of Wands, King of Wands. Somebody may be dealing still with a third party energy that they're trying to get rid of. Um, an ex, an ex-wife, ex-husband, not sure. But somebody's still trying to deal with that energy. That's why you can't really give your 100% to this connection just yet. But that will come to an end slowly but surely with the Eight of Swords here in the reverse. Someone is being released already. And I feel that the past is being released so you can move forward with this person. And what I mean by the past is uh, a toxic relationship, possibly a third party here. There's been a lot of deception here, okay? There's been a lot of secrets kept from the, from each other in this connection. Look at Somebody is coming in here with, they're offering love. Somebody's wanting to offer love, okay? Somebody's going to want a new beginning in love here, okay? But there, because there was a lot of deception in the past, it's kind of hard to just believe that this person's good intentions. Three of Pentacles, someone wants to put the work in the connection. Somebody definitely is prepared to work on this connection. Someone thinks about you. Someone spies on you. You spy on them. But someone's always thinking about this other person here. What else, universe? What else? Yep, Three of Wands. Somebody's planning their return. Somebody's planning, planning how to get back in your good graces or you're doing that to somebody else. Or you're doing that for somebody else. But at the end of the day, I feel like there's going to be a much needed conversation here between you and this person. So you guys can move on from this negativity. Because I feel in the past there was a lot of, a lot of crap going on here. All right, universe. There was a lot of people in your guys' connection. What is the overall advice here for Taurus? Things are not as they appear. I got two of them. The lower the price of love, the higher its value. Brain freeze the universe. So things are not as they appear. So I, this is what I'm thinking, that your person, if you're trying to come to somebody that you were with in the past and you guys had a very bad, messy breakup, and now that you're coming back around, they, they can't trust you just yet because they things, can, things don't look like what they appear. You know what I mean? They're still trying to figure out, are you being truthful or not? Or this can be your person to you, or this could be you to your person, okay? But somebody is not trusting this process just yet. Convince yourself, not others. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in a personal relationship is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways the universe okay so yeah definitely um i feel that someone's gonna try to prove themselves to the other person but the other person has to kind of like fall back and trust the process okay someone is coming in here now and with a good intention for reconciliation but the other person isn't gonna trust you just yet or you're not gonna trust them it's gonna take some work i definitely feel it's gonna take some work here but the trust has to be regained in this connection all right, guys, I hope this reading gave you some clarity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification button if you want to book a personal reading. The info is in the description box below. Talk to you soon. Bye.